My Lilliput A7S has arrived, and so I'm going to be unboxing it. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Lilliput a7s and i've been waiting for this to arrive it's taken a little bit longer than expected uh, or estimated and this is going to be paired with the uh, desview t3 teleprompter which i did a video on uh, just yesterday or the day before i can't remember i'll leave a link to it up in the top and so yeah i'm going to use this uh, this field monitor seven inch field monitor as the screen for the desview uh, the desview is actually designed for uh, as a teleprompter to be used with either an iphone or an uh, iPad something like that or a tablet uh, whereas I'm going to use uh, this because it's going to give me a bit of extra functionality and uh, I don't really need to use it as a teleprompter itself it's uh, it's more to use for the eye contact in zoom meetings and things like that so uh, yeah going for a proper actual uh, monitor will uh, allow that but this video is not about how to do all of that that will be in another video and once again I have to say uh, thanks to Mr Keith Pelzer for the recommendation of that this is going to do just the job that I want it to do uh, but I'm going to just do the unboxing of the uh, A7S field monitor because obviously it is intended to be a field monitor for a camera. <laughs> so uh, that is the uh, the purpose of it. So what I thought I'd do is I'd split these videos up and I'd do one where I unbox the uh, monitor itself and then I'll do another one where I uh, join it together with a des view and we'll see how I go with that. So without further ado, let me come over to my top down shot and uh, here we go. This is the box and if I open the box, it's a nice snug fit. Uh, in the box, we have uh, the actual monitor itself sitting on the top in some foam covering. So you take that out from there. And it has got this sort of rugged case around it. Uh, so it is a little bit shockproof. I'm not sure you'd want to necessarily drop it, but it gives it a bit of uh, protection at least. So let me take that out. In fact, let me just slightly zoom out this scene so you can see a little bit more of, well, a little bit more of the mess on my desk, if nothing else. Uh, so then in here, We've got a user's guide, so obviously I should be reading that from cover to cover before I do anything with this. <laughs> and then inside we've got a, a cable, which is a mini HDMI to HDMI, obviously to be able to just plug this into your camera to use it as a monitor. Now, I wouldn't actually be using that one because I'll be plugging this into my computer. In here we've got a few, uh, well, an Allen wrench and an Allen screw. And then in here, it does actually come with a uh, mount so that you can uh, screw the uh, monitor onto this. And then this is, uh, can fit onto the uh, the cold shoe. So if you were going to mount this on top of your camera, uh, this is how you would do it. And I can even show you that with just one little screw of this in here. He says, not being able to screw it in properly. <laughs> uh, isn't that always the way you go to demonstrate something and then it doesn't quite work? Let me try this again. This is definitely screwing in this time. I'm sure of it. So there you go. Uh, were you to be using this, uh, it's quite a good little ball joint actually. It does feel quite uh, quite sturdy and uh, quite strong as well. So uh, yeah, you could mount that onto the cold shoe. Oh, where has it gone? <laughs> the cold shoe of your camera. And so uh, that's how you would use it on there. And then obviously connect it up with the, uh, the cable attached. But I'm not going to be using that either. Uh, so I'll just take that off for now, very carefully, obviously. <laughs> now here you've got a battery pack because there is, uh, there is power. We'll come to the connections. But you've also got this if you want to use it with a battery pack. Then this is the adapter to use in here. And then that is where you'd be able to slot your battery in. And I uh, can't just remember the spec of the batteries, so I'll have to have a look. Uh, but the uh, the operational voltage for this is 7 to 24 volts. And uh, so if you're going to use this with uh, power, uh, which I intend to, then you will need an adapter because it doesn't actually come with a power adapter with it because it's intended to be a field monitor at the end of the day used with batteries. Now it's also got this, which is an extra sort of shield for it. So let me just show you how this fits on. And as you can see, it's a very quick unboxing this, isn't it? <laughs> We're almost at the end. But this has got some Velcro around the edge of it. And then also you'll notice inside the rubber here, you've got some Velcro in there. And that means that you can just pop this in uh, like this and then pop it like that. And then you can see you've got a really uh, quite a quite a large hood for it. So uh, if you're using it out in strong sunlight, you'll be able to uh, able to see that a lot, uh, lot clearer. But I'm not going to be using that. And I'm also not actually going to be using the uh, the rubber cover on it because I'm just going to have this mounted, as I say, to my uh, 
Desview T3 teleprompter, much like uh, like this. So I'm just going to have to do a bit of work to get that to uh, sit in there properly and in the right position. But uh, as I say, I'll save that for the next video. Well, a uh, little slight technical issue there. <laughs> you won't have known anything about it, but I uh, yeah, just pressed something wrong there and uh, totally screwed up my scene. So anyway, let me carry on with <laughs> where I left off, uh, which was somewhere around about here. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, connectors that you've got on the uh, the monitor. You've got a uh, HDMI in and out, and this acts as a pass-through for uh, 4K, uh, although the resolution of the screen itself is actually uh, 1920 by uh, 1200, so more like the resolution of a sort of MacBook uh, screen, uh, so not quite 1080p widescreen, it's slightly deeper than that, uh, but that is the resolution of the device itself, uh, but as I say, you have got that 4K pass-through. Um, there is a headphone socket on the side as well and then also the power socket if you are going to be mounting this to uh, as i'm going to be doing then you may want to get one of these little angled uh, brackets so that you can actually pass the uh, the uh, hdmi in in my case <laughs> like that i want that going off to the back so just getting these little handy uh, sort of l shape connectors uh, might be useful uh, i'll leave a link to anything that i mention obviously in the description <laughs> as always uh, and then yeah you've got the power in so it's uh, dc 12 volts although it can accept up to uh, 7 to 24 volts is the uh, power that it can uh, that it can accept as an input there but the actual normal operating uh, voltage is 12 volts uh, dc obviously uh, so then on the other side you one thing to note is actually they've got the uh, the mounting uh, screw there and uh, on this side as well uh, none on either of the other sides though and then on this side we've got a wheel which is a uh, menu wheel uh, we'll see how that works I think you actually click it but we'll find out and then it's got some buttons there you've got an exit and then you've got the power button there and then this F1 and F2 those are actually programmable buttons as far as I remember from the documentation I've got a power source so I'm just going to plug that into here and uh, <clears throat> one of the things about this is it can actually flip the uh, the picture so that is obviously important for uh, teleprompting. So let me have a little look. If I press this button, that uh, brings up the menu. And then this is a really bad uh, contrast. But you can see I can sort of flick through these menus. And then what have we got? Uh, brightness, obviously all the usual color stuff. Uh, you've also got some sort of metering and things like that. Bear in mind that this is you know, supposed to be used as a... Uh, field monitor on a camera uh, whereas I'm just basically using it as an extra screen for my uh, my MacBook to uh, or my Mac to go to uh, uh, my teleprompter I got totally carried away there with uh, flicking through these menus so um, yeah you have got uh, some different things scan aspect ratio under scan uh, zooming things like that uh, let me have a little look what else we've got uh, peaking so you can this obviously got like waveforms and meters and things like that on screen as well uh, what else do we have uh, volume level and then you've got some uh, settings in here this is where you can configure the uh, in fact let's have a look language uh, timer uh, image flip so that's the one we want if I press this hopefully I can flip it backwards I don't know if you can see this so it flips from back to front but then also forwards to backwards and then the other way so you can basically flip it, flick it in any direction uh, so that it works with your uh, with your teleprompter uh, let me get it back to normal and then come out of that one and then we've got the backlight so you can set the brightness of the uh, the backlight so we can turn it down see how uh, bright that can go and then you've also got the configuration of those two buttons so button one and two so let's see what options we've got in there so at the moment it is set to peaking but you can also change exposure histogram level meter center marker and all those sorts of things so again i'm not going to actually be using those buttons because all i'm using it for is as a monitor extension for my uh, desk view so uh, that is about all i've got to say about it at the moment because uh, i've literally just taken it out of the box so what i'll do is i'll uh, probably wrap up this one by saying if you found this useful <laughs> then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel uh, I don't really do many unboxings that's because I've not really had much to unbox of late <laughs> everything's just sort of ticking along quite nicely as it is so uh, but I will obviously do them as and when I get things because I do know people like to see these sorts of things uh, so yeah if you found it useful then subscribe to the channel and uh, I'm going to get straight on actually with pairing this with the Desview uh, T3 teleprompter so this just needs to go on here and I understand there is a light, slight bit of modification that will be required uh, because the holes don't quite line up 
So there we go. That's to be expected. <laughs> and uh, I will uh, I'll get that video done and then that'll probably be the next one I'll make. So as soon as I've done it, I will leave a link to that in the description of this video as well. But for now, there's plenty more good videos coming up. You don't have to wait for that one. <laughs> so have a great day and I will see you all again soon.